first. I'd have to say from an overview, I <clears throat> sort of, uh, I set the goals for the, for the group. I, um, I interact on behalf of the group with the rest of the company, which is a huge company. As you know, there's probably 135,000 employees, so, and a lot of businesses. Um, I think uh, one of the main things a CEO does is make sure that their light bulbs and all the light sockets and bathrooms are clean and the employees are relatively happy. Uh, that I interface with the other divisions of the company. The biggest uh, I hire, or, or at least green light the hiring of many of the people, I believe we've got some of the best people in the music business here now ideally suited for the jobs they have in these times. Creating a, an environment for them to be fearless, not concerned that they're going to be ridiculed if they have a, an idea that's a little off the wall. Um, I think that's probably one of the most important things that I do. In the case of Hollywood Records, I have a more hands-on involvement in the sense that I'm involved in the A&R, many of the records, and of course I have to green light the signings of the artists on all the labels. Um, I pretty much let Randy run his own show, but if somebody wants ten million dollars for a deal, I think I'm in the middle of it. I think if you're going to really be successful, you have to be sure that you know, as a CEO in a music organization, that you know that your idea is probably not the best idea. So it would be good to hear what everybody, particularly some of the young, talented, passionate people that you've hired, I mean, you've got to let them, whether it's marketing or A&R, or even crazy ideas of how to promote a record, all of those things, I keep my ears open, particularly with Hollywood. I mean, Randy's done a fantastic job. Randy Goodman is the president of Lyric Street, our country music label, and he signed um, Rascal Flatts, who have had the biggest... I think the biggest artist record of, not I think, I know, of 2006. And they've sold uh, probably 14 or 15 million records already. And we don't sell them at a discount. These are full price records, so. Anyway, I've got some really great executives. Um, but even there, when Randy wanted to expand or whatever, my mind is open, I, I listen. And theoretically, because of my time in the business, even though it wasn't a lot of time in a CEO's chair, I mean, I had my own, I had a management company from when I was very, very young until 1998. And then I came to Disney as kind of the last act of my career. And, uh, but over those years, I think I've acquired the ability to have good judgment in an entrepreneurial sense. So. If something is available to us, I try to divorce my decision from my ego and try to be open-minded and then make the right decision. And I don't insult anybody if they come up with an idea that I really do think is patently ridiculous. I think that's part of what I need to do.